JICA Lecture Series of Japanese Development Experience to date, in line with JICA Global Agenda, Cooperation Strategies by Development Issues. Japan's Experience in Energy and Mining Development Japan, an island country in the Far East. One of the major triggers for its development into a nation with world-class technological and industrial strength was the rapid introduction of modern Western technology about 150 years ago. Japan introduced technology from distant Western countries, established it in its own country, and expanded it as an industry. The various issues caused by the expansion of industry greatly troubled the people, and this experience became the driving force for growth in the next era. Even today, we continue tackling an array of issues as we look to the future. Japan's experience is also highly informative for countries striving to achieve economic development and to expand their energy and mining sectors. This teaching material is divided into two parts. Part 1. Energy, the electric power industry. And Part 2. Mining. The lecturer for the first section on energy is Kikawa Takeo, Vice President of the International University of Japan and Professor at the Graduate School of International Management. It was about 150 years ago, following the Meiji Restitution of 1868, that Japan began on its path to modern energy use. The Western powers that were expanding their colonies at the time were increasingly expanding into East Asia, and Japan responded by introducing modern technology and fostering capitalism through industrial development. It is important to pursue as many different energy options as possible for each country based on the state of energy resource availability, energy consumption structure, and other geographical and geopolitical factors. The lecturer for the second part, mining, will be JICA Senior Advisor, Hosoi Yoshitaka. Japan has also produced a variety of minerals in various regions since ancient times, and was one of the world's leading mining countries in terms of variety and production volume. As we have seen in the experience of Japan, it is also important to utilize the wealth and the technology generated from mineral resource development to develop other industries, and consequently, regional and national economies as well. Learning from Japan's experience, JICA would like to work with these countries to develop mineral resources that will contribute to the economic development of their countries and the world economy as well. This video material should be useful for all those who are interested in the history of energy and mining development in Japan. Now, please select the full-length video and enjoy. Japan has modernized from a non-Western background to establish a free, democratic, prosperous, and peace-loving nation. In this sense, Japan is one of the best development models for the developing countries and regions today. In addition, Japan has contributed to economic growth in many developing countries, especially in Asia. Therefore, we would like to share with you Japan's unique experience of modernization, which is different from Western countries and cooperation for developing countries through this video material. This video series provides a comprehensive summary by Development Issue, 
According to the lineup of JICA's cooperation strategy called the JICA Global Agenda, 